guys, welcome to Revan Auto 717. I uh, just want to do a quick video. Um, I just sold the red Corvette. It is officially gone. Uh, I got cash in my pocket. So uh, we are good to go. So I'm gonna, I'm really excited. Um, I got way more than I thought I was gonna get for it. I got three grand. Um, so I'm really happy. I'm basically, I'm way ahead right now. I'm trading these two trading the Buick for these two cars. So, I mean, I couldn't have been any more happy with it. So, uh, I'm gonna work a little bit um, in the background. You can kind of see I have, I do a little bit of wood, woodworking here and uh, I'm, I have a couple lots and then stuff I gotta do to this and then finish it up. So, I'm gonna do that at quick and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, we'll see what I can get into tonight. So, um, but just kind of, tying up a couple of little odds and ends stuff and I did order a couple things for the truck I'm kind of excited about it we'll see how it goes so um, hopefully I'll get that next week and uh, I'm trying to get things ready to put this exhaust on the truck um, I had to get a couple more tools I had to get a swivel socket um, some of the exhaust bolts were a pain in the butt to get to and I just couldn't reach them so hopefully these tools I get I'll be able to get and put get to installing these long tube headers i apologize i don't know why i'm stuttering like that but um so hopefully we can get that thing uh rolling and hopefully friday night which is, would be tomorrow or tonight i'll probably gonna post this tomorrow morning um so hopefully i can get that rolling and uh get you some footage of that uh the install and hopefully it goes smoothly and everything We'll see how it goes, but hopefully everything goes smoothly. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna kind of finish this up and I'll kind of show you um, the finishing of that. So we'll see, let's uh, get going. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Revan Auto 717. Uh, in this video, um, as you, I don't know if you can hear it, but I uh, am taking the golf cart over to my buddies. We're going to start working on it um, and kind of touch base on figuring out what we're going to do with it. Um, so I just uh, going to do a quick little video of me uh, crashing around with it. I know it's a little dark but you can get the idea. It's pretty freaking fast. Um, so uh, let me go show it to you quick and uh, we can go uh, from there. So here it is. Do a little video of the uh, golf cart as it currently is. It's an old Yamaha, I think it's a 1998, somewhere in there. So we got some big plans for it. So uh, we'll take this over to my buddies. I gotta load it up quick on the truck and uh, hopefully that doesn't take too long, but we're gonna work on that now. So I'm gonna kinda, hopefully I can do that by myself. So. We're gonna do that. Hey guys, a little out of breath just from uh, loading that golf cart up. Uh, as you could tell, it was a pain in the butt trying to do it one person, uh, but I was able to uh, struggle and get it up there. So sorry, I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but uh, I was able to do it. So no big deal. Uh, now I'm just I got it all loaded up, tied down, everything. Um, my buddy's house is like 
two, three miles away. So we're going to go over there and uh, see what we can come up with. Um, I'll try to do a couple of videos here and there of us uh, planning stuff, but uh, here we go. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I uh, went and uh, talked to my buddy. Didn't, I completely forgot to take any video. Still kind of getting used to that whole thing. I'm, I do apologize. Uh, we do have a game plan for that. Um, I'm really stoked for it. I'm going to try to draw some things up for that and uh, I'll kind of show you some of the layouts that I have. I'm probably going to use AutoCAD. Just draw some things up and see where see where that goes, but we're kind of going for like a sand dune type looking thing. Low the ground, wide, um, long arm on the front and the rear will probably just uh, incorporate the same uh, rear, rear end and uh, just try to fix it up, make it look nicer and put a uh, a forward and reverse uh, gearbox in it so uh, stay tuned for that hopefully uh, we're gonna probably get going on that um, probably a couple nights a week so I'll get a bunch of footage of that um, also got a bunch of stuff coming for the Corvette the uh, the white one um, as you guys know the red Corvette is officially sold um, and that is gone out of here so I'm trying to uh, get the white one fixed up and sold as well and then I can start working on another project um, this is actually right here is for the um, my Chevy truck. Um, I got a bunch of stuff coming for that, um, so I'm really excited. This is one of the things I was excited. Um, this is actually a snorkel. Uh, uh, this is actually from a Toyota uh, Land Cruiser. Let's see if I... Here's some piping that came with it. Um, let me get this out. this up. So here's the uh, national snorkel piece right here and uh, the rest is in the box here. So I'll put that. So it came with a piece. I'm guessing this is probably for the air cleaner um, here. A um, bunch of hardware. Um, everything looks really nicely wrapped. Um, So it looks like it comes with a bunch of parts here, um, some clamps, some uh, different types of uh, hex nuts and bolts and things of like that. It looks like a bracket here, and then possibly instructions, which I'm kind of surprised for that. So, let's see what this, if this is actually instructions. Uh, that's what I kind of thought. This is a template. For the uh, for the side of the thing to figure out where the holes go, so that'll that'll work. Um, I'm really excited for this thing. This is gonna look awesome. Um, but I'll kind of unbox this here. On this, uh, this is what it looks like here. You can see it has a nice opening. I thought that flow would look really nice on it. Um, I would. Did some measuring before I bought this thing, and everything looked like it lines up pretty good. I mean, this thing's scratched up a little bit. I got it on eBay um, for like 60 bucks shipped. Um, I figured I might as well deal with something that's not too expensive in case it's not going to work. I'm going to have to modify it. But it looks like there's uh, four mounting tabs down here, and then there's three along here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to utilize these three as my door. Um, for where the door is. I'll kind of show you that more when I go outside here and put it on. Um, this will probably be a couple parts uh, putting this thing together. Um, probably gonna at least mock it up and see how it looks. Um, get it on, get it on the truck, uh, cut the hole out for it, and uh, put these uh, bolts in. And uh, we should be pretty good. Uh, I gotta figure out if these are gonna be needed or not. Um, I guess for wind deflection and things of that sort. So um, I'm going to go, oh this actually looks like the bracket here that will mount. It looks like that bracket there will mount like that and then I will might have to bend it the other way or something but I can figure something out. If I need to make something I, I can easily do that. It's no big deal. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, this is all scratched up. I mean, you get what you pay for. Um, so I'm not really too worried about that. But I'm going to move this outside here and uh, try to mock it up on the truck just to kind of show you um, how it looks. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I think this is going to make it look really, really nice. Um, aside from all the other stuff I'm going to have done to it. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things going on this winter um, for the truck. I'm really, really excited. I was just talking to my buddy about it. Um, he really wants me to uh, go in with him and uh, start doing some custom fab stuff. So we're um, definitely this uh, channel can is going to start growing with doing stuff like that. So um, just stay tuned. We're really, really excited about that. So uh, I'm going to go move, put this out on the trucks, just um, tape it up, and uh, I'll touch base with you then. Here's the snorkel mounted up and uh, on the truck. Um, you can see it's um, not sure if it's going to work. Um, I got to do some measuring here, um, see what I. Uh, can come up with. I'm hoping that I can make it work. The only thing I'm really worried about is the uh, the door. The the way the door is laid out, the door comes all the way up to the edge of the window here. So I'm just worried that it's not that it might not clear. So uh, hopefully that'll work. But I'm gonna and I apologize. I have the fan running right now. Um, not for my heater. It's so cold out. But I'm just hoping that everything will work. I have some big plans for this thing, and uh, this is just getting started. So uh, try to work with that. And uh, also, I uh, forgot to take some video of going over to my buddies. We kind of got talking, and I forgot to uh, get the camera out and uh, kind of talk with him about things. But we have a pretty good game plan. I'm going to make some uh, CAD drawings of what I kind of want to do with it, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Um, I, we both kind of have a lot of in common on the way we want it to look, so uh, I think it's going to turn out really, really good, and uh, just have to stay tuned. i got a lot of pl stuff planned for this uh, winter. got a lot of little projects here and there, doing some uh, just odds ends, uh, jobs. So uh, just stay tuned. This, this channel is going to be really fun to watch. So uh, stay tuned and uh, hope you, you like my video and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a good one.